really wanted something uh, unique and a real incentive uh, and um, we thought it would be really nice to have uh, a taste of uh, the Hitman fantasy. Basically we were uh, discussing a lot how to make a interesting pre-order incentive for Absolution. We had all kinds of ideas about what we could do with levels or characters or weapons and then there was this we had like an old design of like a sniper challenge map. It was not meant to be a part of Hitman Absolution. It was not meant to be anything other than just fun for the company. And it was actually so fun that the, that the rest of the house started playing it, you know, uh, without really being prompted to do so. And that told us we had something that was a little bit uh, out of the ordinary. And we, we figured at some point that, that, that this might actually be a map that we can use for the, for the game. We knew that the fun factor was quite high, so we just needed to look into how do we implement this into to being in the Hitman fantasy? It's a little contained game on its own, if you will. It's simple, you shoot the people and then you have to, to figure out what is the puzzle you have to, uh, to solve to not alert everyone. And we actually took that whole concept and said, okay, if we were to, uh, to do this uh, as a product, how would that then be? And that turned into the Sniper Challenge. It's teasing a lot of of little moments that you will go through in Absolution, but it's not directly linked. That's also part of the kind of strength of it, is that it is an addition to the main game. The, the Sniper Challenge is you seeing the world through a scope, and we have a lot of stuff going on in the game with a pretty advanced AI and a lot of options. So the initial phase was just trying to figure out how do we uh, make sure that all the stuff that's in Absolution somehow makes it across the Sniper Scope and onto the roof of, uh, of the building that you are focusing on. That's your main target. On the Sniper Challenge, we wanted to create a skyscraper where a weapons dealer was hosting his uh, annual release party for uh, his uh, shareholders. And Agent 47 has the task to actually go in and take this weapons dealer out. And uh, to do this, we had to create a gameplay field where the player could uh, explore different possibilities of uh, fanciful kills and not getting discovered at the same time. We really wanted to, to give the player to stay in the fantasy that they remember from the Hitman Bloodline. We need to, to be in the, in the atmosphere of uh, this classy hit, classy uh, target that, uh, that Hitman needs to take down. There is the sense that whatever you do, it will kind of affect, it will kind of ripple out into the whole map. And you have to kind of think twice before making your move. One of the moments I like best in the Sniper Challenge is actually something that came in fairly late, which is the elevator challenge we did, where you, uh, you can distract the guard and then shoot a fuse box. And then if you're fast, you shoot him into the elevator shaft and then the elevator doors close. And I think it's, uh, it's a beautiful way with game mechanics to sum up the kind of the, um, the refinery of being a really, really cool assassin. Uh, you're shooting a guy, but you're also uh, both distracting him and disposing of him at the same time. One of those things that is a really interesting challenge for us is to put as many characters as possible for the player to uh, discover. And uh, it's not just the main cast. We have this uh, ninja that kind of looks like he's about to commit suicide, and you're kind of like helping him a bit of it in the way. We really wanted uh, to create a bus with the Sniper Challenge and what we really thought is that okay, we do a few leaderboards. As I said, originally this started in-house, right? Where people actually just started playing it for fun and they also started uh, competing on the leaderboard to figure out the most creative way to uh, go about the mission. Creativity in what you do combined with a score was pretty much set people on fire. So we also thought that, you know, what makes most sense is also to be able to talk to your friends about how you scored. So that's why we came up with the concept of just, you know, separating a few different leaderboards. Personally, I would never figure on the worldwide leaderboard, but I do know how I would fare against my friends, right? And it's, in that way, it's much more fun to compete with people you know. There's all these little uh, kind of uh, hidden details that can help improve your score and improve your play style towards the game 
that some of it we're kind of hinting at and other things we are keeping secret for players to find out by themselves and looking like talking with their friends finding out what was it that they did that actually made them improve so drastically on their score gameplay wise we really wanted to make it so that when you play the game and as you improve your skills and you unlock stuff in the sniper challenge that it actually unlocks an absolution as well so we wanted to create that tie-in to make them feel that they are connected even if the sniper challenge is mainly about sniping and absolution is about everything else hitman if you will